hi everyone welcome to online drawing class one uh, in this video we will be seeing development of surfaces in the development of surfaces we will be trying to discuss about development of a tray so let's begin the lecture so this is the question this is the figure we have to draw uh, draw the development of a tray of equal slope as shown in the figure so let's discuss about this uh, the measurements of this uh, uh, tray are the bottom square rectangle is of uh, 35 into 70 the dimensions of the bottom uh, rectangle are 35 into 70 mm and the upper uh, upper uh, rectangle are 55 into 90 so and the vertical difference between these them is 25 mm it is given here so these are the things uh, to be remembered so next uh, we are going to draw this is the figure for the reference so now first what we have to draw is a horizontal line with a length of 70 mm so after drawing that line take the midpoint of this 70 mm so take the midpoint and see that you take a vertical line of vertical difference of 25 mm from this line which i have marked here from this line you have to take a vertical height of 25 mm as the vertical difference between the top base and the bottom base is 25 mm so now draw a line such that uh, it will be equidistant on both sides for example if you draw a line here if you draw a line here so uh, it should be 25 mm uh, the top line should be 45 mm on the right side and 45 mm on the left side in the case same case with the bottom line also as it is 70 mm uh, to the right side of this red line it should be it should be 35 mm and to the left side it should be 35 mm so that we will be drawing a tray without knowing the slope so now so now join the ends of the both lines like uh, the upper line is 90 mm so the join the ends like this so this is the front view give the naming as a bottom base uh, uh, left side is a and d we will be naming them as a dash d dash and the right uh, bottom base right side is bc so we will be naming as b dash c dash in the same way the upper naming also we will be doing correspondingly we have drawn the front view so now next uh, drop the perpendiculars from each uh, uh, junction point of the front view like this so after drawing the uh, uh, what you call uh, perpendiculars or projection lines so try to draw a horizontal lines with the with these generators like this so this line is automatically equal to 90 mm so now you have to draw the other line see that the other line you draw is at a distance of 55 mm from the uh, upper line as the uh, dimension of the upper base is 55 mm into 90 mm so we got this as 50 mm now what you do is mark the center line of this particular line so that is 55 mm implies 22.5 that side and 22.5 this side so now just I'm marking like this so 22.5 this side 22.5 this side now draw a line in this a dash b dash projection line this line this projection line draw a line from that so that so that uh, the distance here is 17.5 uh, this side and 17.5 this side so so 17.5 that side and 17.5 bottom so that will be 35 mm from the these two lines so now join the lines from corners join the base of the tray bottom base of the base to the upper base by the lines so let that points be a b and c d at the innermost that is the bot bottom base and uh, name the outer base also e h g e f so this is how it looks like this is the front view and the top view is this uh, drawing this front view and the top view is the first step so this is how it looks like uh, in this figure the black one the front view should be dark and the inner base the brown one should be dark the rest all the lines should be in a uh, faint color uh, should be drawn uh, with a thin line that is 2h pencil now first of all from bc and bc dash b dash c dash and a dash d dash draw horizontal lines like this in the top front view so after that with the radius as uh, this one 
taking this as the radius draw an arc here and here so so draw the arcs here so in the same manner first of all you have to draw the horizontal set uh, g and h and e and f also after that take the radius as a b b dash f dash and draw an arc and uh, take the radius of um, a dash e dash and uh, draw an arc on the side such that it will be intersecting the horizontal from that intersection point this intersection point and this intersection point you draw perpendiculars or projection lines like this so mark the intersection points with the horizontals where these projection lines are meeting with the horizontal mark them as h1 e1 g1 and f1 now join these lines as join a e1 d h1 c g1 and b f1 join those lines after joining them uh, take the radius of a e1 and draw a curve such that it will intersect the projection line of e dash e f dash this is the projection line of e dash f dash so what you have to draw is draw from uh, from a as center with the radius as a e1 draw an arc so that it will meet at uh, this point so give that name for that point also give the name the, of the point at the left bottom as e1 dash now in the same manner uh, in the bottom base of the top view from d uh, with the radius as d h1 draw an arc meeting at h1 dash now with c as center with c g1 as radius draw an arc to meet at uh, g1 dash now as b as center with uh, b f1 as radius draw an arc to meet at f1 dash now join e1 dash e1 dash f1 dash and in the top join h1 dash and g1 dash now join a to e1 dash and b to f1 dash in the bottom and d to h1 dash c to g1 dash and b to f1 dash so this is how we draw the development of surface so this is i have drawn for your understanding in this figure all the only that black and brown line should be dark and the list, uh, rest of all the colors that is uh, green and uh, orange should be in faint 2h lines all the other colors only the black and brown should be in dark so this is how we draw the development of a tray thank you